Hi, my name is Alison Schiffman. I'm the print editor of Vogue Scandinavia, and I'm joined here today in Stockholm by three wonderful creatives, and we're going to be discussing art and fashion. I guess you guys can just start by introducing yourselves. Thank you. Uh, my name is Wasima, and I'm a creative director and also founder of Darwalda. My name is Frida Vega Salomonsson, and I'm a photographer and co-editor in chief of Nuda. Cool. Uh, my name is Arvida Bystrom, and I'm an artist, and I'm joined here by my dog Pedro, who's going to give some wonderful answers, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll just start with a very broad question. Do you guys think that art has a place? in fashion and if so what kind of is that place is it by way of collaboration is it by way of inspiration go ahead should i yes <laughs> oh my god it's such a broad question but absolutely yes it does um just speaking for myself i 100 get inspired by fashion when it comes from an unexpected place and for me also to think about just the definition of art what does that mean because before like for me art means expression of life so if we just like let us be free in that conception of what it means i think yeah the answer is yes and i feel like fashion has proven itself so many times that it it is art um uh, yes Art, yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, yes. what she said, I don't know. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, of course, art has, like, a, a, has a place in fashion or by collaboration. And like, there's so many examples of designers and artists working together uh, that um, makes sense and really works. There's also a lot of examples that doesn't work that well. Um, but yeah, it has a place. But maybe, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's again, as Vasima said, what is art and what's the definition of art? And I mean, with modernism, you could kind of say that art is anything that's useless. Because if you show it in an art gallery and you don't use it anymore, it's art. You know, it could be a toilet or whatever, basically. <laughs> so, in a way, if you think about art in that way, then art and fashion can't really be merged because, because fashion is something that's actually useful. But then again, art isn't that like so specific. Art is pretty much everything today and in a way always have been. So um, to me, it's, it is like, what is art? What is the art world? Uh, what art world are we talking about? And what fashion, what is fashion exactly? And what kind of fashion are we talking about? Uh, but since I'm like a visual artist, I do personally love fashion and think they can merge pretty well. And there will always be like collaborations I'm more interested in and there's some that I'm less interested in. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I think it's interesting because you bring up the idea of functionality <laughs> and whether if something is super functional, if it can simultaneously be art. I don't know if you guys think that fashion in itself is art, but at what point kind of on the spectrum does fashion uh, gear like away from being a piece of art? For example, is an H&M t-shirt, could that be considered art? Could a Comte de Garçon dress be considered art? What's your kind of thought on commerce versus art and how fashion and art can kind of coexist? I think the hard part sometimes when it comes to fashion is that uh, art wants to be highbrow and fashion isn't always, uh, and art isn't always either. But if we, if we stick to like the art world and institutions and museums as what is our notion of art, then um, it's a little bit hard to merge them for that reason. And art has historically, or like in at least recent times, kind of been trying to, even if it's like, there's more and more art that is uh, something you can consume as little objects, but it hasn't really historically been how we view art. It's kind of like on the opposite side. So I think for that reason, maybe it's a little bit complex, but then there's a lot of fashion that's also like 
slower and puts more time into each piece. So maybe that, that fashion is more art because art doesn't have to be that thing that's like slow and single pieces and exclusive, but it has tended to be that a little bit. And there's parts with that exclusivity that's complex and maybe sad, but there's parts of it that's like slow and like actually putting thought into every little object we put in the world instead of like H&M that's just like T-shirts, mm. T-shirts, T-shirts, for everyone. H&M. I just use H&M as an example. We love yeah, H&M, yeah, they're exactly. Scandinavian. No, but basically fa- fast fashion. Yeah, that's we can't, fast fashion. like whatever we feel about big brands, there is still an issue with the overconsumption. Mm-hmm. But there's so much more than just like H&M, we have like uh, for now, Sheen or Shein. I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The company. Yeah. And the... uh, to mention a few of all these fast fashion companies. Yeah. I mean, and we can criticize them for all we can, but I'm sure there's a reason why those companies even exist because fashion hasn't always been uh, what's it called uh, available for everybody. Classes, races, all that. Like, there's a lot big political going thing going on behind that. So I think we got to be careful when we criticize that because obvious it's very bad for the nature and the climate change. But we have a bigger issue than that. Also, I feel like because we're not having good conversation, we're just judging people who buy fast fashion. Mm who actually don't have the possibility of buying something higher end or something like that. So when Sheen, for example, make all these dupes of uh, Balmain or whatever the thing is, I can understand why they end up buying that Mm -mm. because fashion isn't always so available. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion about it. No, I think it's, I also think it's really true. And like the fun, like when I say like the, the problematic part about like the high end side of things is that it gets expensive, it gets ex- exclusive and really hard to reach for everyone. So yeah, fast fashion, complex, but if we just talk on an individual level, it's really fun and amazing. And there's so much more people that can be like creative with it. And that's definitely like the, the fun part. I'm curious then if you guys have an opinion on, uh, maybe we're entering tricky territory, but a fast fashion collaboration with an artist because those exist somewhat frequently these days, you know, there'll be a Keith Haring collaboration or an Andy Warhol collaboration, not in the names of any brands here. Um, is How do you feel about art merging with fast fashion in that way? Mm. Is this tricky? Oh yeah, because I saw a Salvador Dali perfume that was like on resale for like 200 krona. And I was like, oh my goodness, like what, do you, what does this mean? Like that's crazy. And, the, and, and it was actually on a, a, f- a few more sites. That is the retail price for a Salvador Dali. And that made me just like, I don't have trust in, in that way. It makes me feel like I have trust issues when it comes to, to art because it, people find loopholes and and also capitalism. So here we are. Like, but I mean, I don't. I'm not promoting fast fashion. I'm not like I don't like I, I like literally have an archive for vintage clothing. So like that that goes against my beliefs. But I also understand. I just wanted to clarify it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like collaborations between art and fashion I think is very tricky because there's also this like marketing and consumerism aspect of it like we have a brand who maybe puts out like millions of t-shirts and they need a storytelling they need like an aesthetic they need like to create value Mm -hmm. to be able to sell those clothes and art is such an easy way to add value to something that doesn't maybe have any value per se Um, but then there's also like great examples of when it works really well. For example, when Anna Uddenberg had some of those sculptures with Balenciaga, that really works because it's her doing her own thing and that works very well with their story and they can just support her. It's a different thing of just if they would smack an artist's piece on like a t-shirt and it's not like adding anything for anyone. It's just like riding on that name or whatever. And it's not really about respect or integrity about that collaboration. Yeah, I think the the complex, I don't know, like for that reason, I I kind of, 
I, I think I'm almost on the other, like if we're just talking about like discussion of it, I think I'm almost on the other side of it because I feel like for the, the like, cons there's an issue with art that uh, it is unattainable and that's almost what makes it art. But that's also like if we're talking about like fast fashion again and what's accessible or not, that's like something that's in a way what makes art art, but it's also something that's like, Oh, so frustrating and almost like corny with art for me that it's like it's so unaccessible and yeah it, it makes it like a great collaboration if it's if it's this kind of like integrity part as if so I think like that is like the issue when it feels pro when it probably feels wrong but then I just find it interesting to ask like why do we find that wrong and it, it's because like art almost like as a brand is positioned as being exclusive and that's why when it feels non-exclusive we start to question like is it art but is that the only thing that should make art art i don't know I <laughs> so, so, girl. Yeah, I for me it's not like about exclusivity because mm -hmm. i understand what we talk about here is like democratic that's a very hard word democratization, democratization <laughs> yeah which is like it's accessible and mm. people can maybe buy something and they can have it at home and that's like very important i understand that argument but maybe it's also about like intention mm. if an artist makes a piece like the intention is yeah. they want to explore an issue or communicate something but when a brand does a collaboration often the intention is to sell clothes mm -mm -mm to young girls with like low self-esteem. Not always, oh. but like if I'm putting, if I'm taking like the best situation and like the worst situation, mm -hmm. uh, but then there's also great collaborations obviously, but I think that's why it's not always like. But they're also influencers. Like the, those are the high level of influencers. Like when I see, uh, I love my girl Rihanna, but like when I see her do a collaboration with Puma or uh, the Savage collaboration, mm. I feel like, she already has the power because she already has such following. So, I mean, I'll be the first to say it. I hate all Beyonce collection with Adidas. I think they're horrible. Mm -hmm. But, like, people just buy them off as, like, designer. And I think, mm -hmm. but who am I to pinpoint what's fashion? Because, obviously, she has a whole, like, a whole audience that she caters to. So, it's just, like, I kind of, like, lecture myself back to, like, People like what, I, what they like, but we gotta notice like, uh, if, if we are being fair when we are judging what's art and what's not. To that end, do you think that some brands view their use of art the same way that they would view their use of celebrity? Yeah, yeah. like I don't think they realize they do, but I definitely think they do. Uh, they usually work with artists to get like uh, some kind of like cultural depth. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, what is this? But it's definitely something you just kind of like buy in a way or another. Um, but also like, I don't know, it's complex. Like, uh, I'm, I'm also not gonna shit talk everybody. <laughs> like, generally, We're getting very cynical <laughs> exactly, over here. Let's try not to. Generally, like, I feel like everyone on an individual <laughs> level that I work with, I like and enjoy. Oh, Pedro is not agreeing with me. Um, <laughs> But on a structural level, I a lot of times find it very complicated. Um, and sorry, I lost my train of thought because of bedroom. Um, but take your time. Yeah, wait. So it was about it was about um, cultural depth and, and stuff like that. Uh, no, like I don't know. I yeah, I find it complicated because sometimes brands want to work with me and they, they think all the output I'm gonna give is art and to me there is some like very vague line for me emotionally when I'm like this isn't art anymore and maybe we're back to that again like I don't know that sometimes there is things that you somehow don't want to be give to big brands even though they view it as art and you're not really in a um in a situ situation where you can turn down that kind of money. Um, it's, uh, but for me, there's a lot of output that I've done for brand that, brands that I haven't seen as art, but people keep on, like the, the people I work with that are usually very sweet, uh, but they keep on referring 
to it as like art. And I'm like, for me, everything I make is an art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder what you guys think mm -hmm. then about performance art when it comes to runway collections, because sometimes there's a performance element to a collection and that can't be purchased. Mm -hmm. Do you think that a runway show can be performance art? I mean, we've seen it. I've seen it so many times. But I think it's like what Frida said, the intention behind it is what makes it good or not to me. So I feel like if I felt something, whether it's good or bad, I'll like take that and marinate how I feel. But I don't know. It's not my favorite thing, it's personally. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> makes you think. You look like you're gonna say something. I don't know. I, I think I personally just like instinctively love it. Like there's one Molly, Molly Goddard uh, um, show where all the girls have like these super big dresses and they, they're they like painting painting nudes and there's like a naked old man in the middle and they're just like sitting around like painting him or like sketching him. And I don't know, I love that as a, as a performance, but that's just like the but thing that popped up in my head. Just by default that they are a performances, like... So what, I missed the beginning, what did you say? Yeah, but do you love it just by the fact that it is uh, a like performance a performative or... art uh, fashion show? Or can you be critical of like, because I have it's my compass up. of what I like and what not, mm. and I can still appreciate the things that I don't like and be like, oh, it's not for me, but nice. Mm. But so is it you just appreciate the fact that it's always that performative when it comes to fashion? I don't know, it's a good question. I think it's that this. So if we come back to like the thing that you said with Balenciaga and Anna Uden Berg. Um, there is something, I think there's something like, even if I don't want to be one art to be exclusive, there's definitely some element of that that makes me feel like it has to be. Uh, because when I'm thinking about the Molly Goddard show, uh, this was like also many years ago when her brand was still very small. So th I think there's something with like an independent brand that makes me feel like it can like lean more towards art. And if a, a very big brand uh, would do it, I would instinctively probably cringe more. <laughs> I felt it coming. I it. <laughs> so I guess it's, yeah, it is something about it's not as simple as, it's like intention and how much money is put into it. Because money but I mean, can if kind I'm of being, distort. If I'm doing a devil's attention. advocate here, like Balenciaga yeah. is, yeah, exactly. is a that's, money brand. I think like, that's only why, like, I, them, like, <laughs> why I personally maybe would be like, for me, Balenciaga, I don't mind Balenciaga, but it's not, uh, it's, it's already like a brand where I feel like, and also I know them, but I think it's a, an amazing artist and so nothing about that obviously but um yeah i just it's cool like who would turn down a thing like that but i presume i haven't even seen these specific things but i presume she also have made better work at other times basically Ooh, hot, hot <laughs> hey. I love it. So For the record, I, I, I like that collaboration. I, I'm, just, I'm just exploring all great, angles. But I haven't, yeah. <laughs> but I think also a lot of times when people are having this discussion, because uh, people have had this discussion for a long time, like what is art? A lot of old men has been sitting on rocks mm -hmm. thinking about that. Um, we, I feel all like... <sighs> that we use the word art as if it's something that it means it's quality or good. Like we want fashion to be art because that means it's so great. Mm. But I don't think like the word art necessarily means great. You can do great fashion without it being art or like you can do great music without being There's art. There's also tons of shitty art, so. Yeah. Exactly, so like fashion, fashion, uh, fashion is an art. I'm gonna drop it. Uh, but fashion can be art mm -hmm. at occasions. And like music isn't art, but it can be art. And design is an art, but it can be art. So it's about intention and how that process looks and like how you do it. Uh, but I'm gonna say no, fashion isn't art. Ooh, Ooh spicy. <laughs> but it can be. On the other hand, it mm -hmm. can be. 
But also, like you said, also, is it like it doesn't necessarily have to be? Like, why do we strive for it yeah, to be? Like, art maybe it's like be fashion. This amazing thing like all art like all fashion designers want to make art because mm -hmm. it's like mm. but i uh, read once that it says yes fashion is art because you gotta be uh what's it called you gotta be um talented in in design and some like some mm. explanation why it would you, it, yeah it's called art so but the it, it just circles back. What is art? I feel like everybody had like an uh, individual perspective of what's art and whatnot. When you guys need kind of a palate cleanser or to feel inspired creatively in an artistic way, where do you seek your inspiration? When I want a palate cleanse, I watch a lot of Jukka and Jonna. <laughs> What is that? It's uh, YouTubers, Yoki Boy, and oh, yeah. I just yeah. heard Yoki Boy. But yeah, but it's like kind of defined as trash TV. But so that's yeah. art. <laughs> that we, yeah, I, but do you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say yeah, that because yeah, like, yeah. they're not like they're like really like those people are like really clowned. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I love that you watch yeah. that because it's kind of like the unexpected from you because you do like. Like you have like what finger top chance that like uh, thing I saw. Yeah, touch. Yeah, exactly. She has the, like, finger a, on the palm. Yeah, she has the natural <laughs> touch of like being great, and they some shit that they say is just like cringe to me. Yuki or Yona, that's yeah. why I fuck. This you, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've <laughs> trashed like ten things in this talk. <laughs> No, it's it's good. I think it's interesting. I stand by every okay. I don't do talks usually know, on right? video. I mean, I think I do talks all the time, okay. but not on video. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it can be edited. Um, I think Bravo is art, so it's you know. Change. I love yeah, yeah. I I agree. I I think that's very nice, and also like I try to hang out with people that's like truly the opposite of the art mm. the art world that I I'm in, and. Uh, it just give me like I I always feel, I love it when I feel like that my world just got bigger by mm -hmm. somebody else, whether like they're trash people or like I don't know what to define it. I don't want to like. No, I'm just gonna stop that thought. <laughs> I would say okay, let's end on an extremely positive note. <laughs> whether or not you think that fashion is art or if certain parts of fashion can be. What was the last time that you saw something in fashion where you felt that sense of inspiration, that like, you know, that aha moment, the same moment that you could feel in an art gallery? I think there's a lot of really cool young designers that you can actually find through Instagram these days. Like, I get very impressed often. Can't remember any names because I'm shit with names. Yeah. There's so many great ones that just make extraordinary things. If it's art or not, I don't know. But maybe it can just be fashion that's extraordinary. I haven't really seen a show like that, but just like sourcing back uh, where I get my inspiration. I just like, I think I do this wrong. I really have a hard time living in the moment, even though I like to find art, a documentation of life on earth. So it's just like, I, I, I don't seem to get it together, but it's just like, I truly don't believe that in my head that we will understand where we're going unless I know where, I, where fashion has been. So I'm like a huge nerd just going back to like old Christian Dior 2002 shows or Gucci, Tom Ford. It's just like, I love that. I love that essence. And it's weird that that feeling gives me more inspiration of what's current to me. I think I need to see a therapist for this. Because it's like deeper than that. <laughs> is it this therapy? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it is. <laughs> yeah. You have one. I don't know. It's it's maybe not that recent, but I think like for example, Anne Buck is like a great example, a Swedish example mm -hmm. of really yeah. saying something more. Um, I've seen a lot of, yeah, I don't know. 
I see so, I, I don't know. That's a good one. She's art. Yeah. yeah. Can we all agree? Or yeah. she's art. Yeah, she's <laughs> art, she's but art. also, yeah, like coming back to, like, maybe it doesn't have to be art to be really great. I think she, like, whatever it is, and sometimes it, it maybe is an art, but it's just its own thing in its own right, and, yeah. She definitely have done some really, like, fun and extraordinary yeah, things. It was an cool. era. Everybody yes. had, like, the beanies yeah, and yeah. I just still, yeah. still, still love the thong collection that she made. Yeah. That's, like, like it looks like shredded thong, thongs <laughs> put together. And it's, like, literally one of the best things yeah. ever. Yeah, but that's the blueprint, because now if I go to Beckman's design school, I'll see her blue, like, yeah, yeah, I feel. what she, like, started off. Mm. I'm not saying she's done, like, obviously, but mm -hmm. I love to see that. That's so cool. Good example. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Let's end there. Positive, <laughs> something that we all love. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs>